Today we're at Pleasant Mountain on the Ledges Trail. So I thought I would film this and also give you an update on what's been going on with my health and why we haven't been doing many mountains lately. Stay tuned. Lots of leaves. Ooh. That was not a good noise. You all right back there? There's the trail map there. Are lots of trails going up Pleasant Mountain. And we have done the Ball Peak Trail, which I may have a video of. I can't remember, but if I do, I'll link it here. And um, I've also done the Ledges Trail with my daughter. And again, I'm not sure if I have a video or not. But if I do, I'll link it here. Someone asked us in the parking lot if hunting was allowed here. I wasn't sure, but Matt just read off it is, so I'm glad we're wearing orange. What a beautiful day. It is almost 70 degrees here in Maine on November 6th, or no, it's the 5th. Today's the 5th. That's crazy. Is it that way? Or yeah. that way? Looks like either. We're gonna go right to go left. So to start the little update, um, so as most of you know, if you've been following me last year, I had to get off the AT because of a severe ankle injury. I went through physical therapy, and then once I was all recovered, I went and did um, Monadnock Center B Greenway Trail, and it seemed to be very difficult. At the time, I had just attributed it to just coming back after an injury and my stamina wasn't up. But I think that's when it started to go downhill. All right, further testing of the new shoes. If you saw my short, which you'll know I'm testing out some new shoes. See this one I already stepped in a pile of water. Topos. Let's we'll see how it goes on a little bit more aggressive terrain. All right, so when I was doing the Monadnock Sun Peak Greenway Trail and after I thought, oh, I was just really slow because I was just recovering and I hadn't hiked in a while and that could have been most of it, but I think there was some underlying things starting at that point. And then throughout the winter, I was slow, but I thought, well, it's the snow. We're not getting out. I was doing as long hikes. So it was easy to convince myself that I just needed to exercise more take better care of myself and keep going and it'll get better. Then come spring, it didn't get any better. In fact, it was kind of getting worse. It was harder to do things, but because um, my mom got sick and I was be, gonna become power of attorney and trying to get her into assisted living and outside stresses, I thought, oh, it's just stress, not sleeping good. You know, it's easy to convince yourself that it's just it's no big deal. my denial phase when I blamed it on everything else Matt and the kids kept trying to encourage me to go to get go get a physical and I I was planning to but I didn't have a primary care and you know lots of excuses lots of excuses but um did a hike this summer with my daughter which um if you haven't seen it I'll link here but it was hard I struggled it was only a three mile hike and I kept having to stop. My heart rate would elevate. I'd get lightheaded. I'd get dizzy. Um, out of breath, really easy. Wasn't normal. Started feeling really poorly. And that's when I realized I really did need to go see a doctor. I don't know how good you can 
minute, there we go, ledge is trail, 0.2 to the summit, we come on 0.6. And there's, if we wanted, the Southwest Ridge Trail is 2.7 to Sometime we're going to come back and do the ridge, whole ridge, but you need two cars for that. It's a point to point one. Lunch with a view. <laughs> Almost lost my baggie. Heading down, and it is windy, so I haven't been able to finish my update for you, but it is beautiful. The leaves are really slippery going down, so we stand and still for a second, but um. So it took me a while to find a primary care doctor, and when I got in, I had to have blood work. Uh, I got the first blood work back, I had to have more blood work. To find out that I was um, iron deficient and B12 deficient, apparently those uh, led to extreme anemia. So it was really bad, and that's why I was having so much trouble um, doing any sort of hiking. But if you remember um, my Grafton Notch Loop Western section, which I'll link here, I really was struggling. And that was in the middle of when they were trying to figure out treatment. So when I finally got to see the hematologist, I did feel justified in the fact that, um, or vindicated, or however you want to put it, that I wasn't crazy. I was really struggling because of the anemia, because she said to me, I don't even know how you were hiking flat with this, never mind, up mountains. So, I thought, oh good, I'm not, uh, I'm not losing it. <laughs> so I have since been on um, iron infusions because the anemia was so bad they couldn't treat it orally. They, I've been doing weekly infusions and B12 shots. And this was my first mountain climb since I've had three of the five infusions. And I have to tell you, I almost cried when I got to the top because it wasn't as much of a struggle as it had been. I, I mean, I'm still a little out of shape, but. I got to the top without a struggle and saw the view and it was just very emotional. I'm still getting emotional because I feel like I'm on the mend and my AT dream is right around the corner. Before I started my infusions, I thought I'd go finish the GLT. So I did the eastern section thinking, if I just do less mileage per day and take it slow, I'll be fine. But I ran into other issues due to my shoes. 
which is why I now have these. And I still ran into exhaustion issues and it still took me a long time to hike. And I still get lightheaded and dizzy. So we've since been doing just shorter, flatter hikes. Uh, so this was the first one with elevation since my treatment and it went really well. So besides my primary doctor and the hematologist and all the labs, I also had to go see a cardiologist because I always have a racing heart and pounding and a murmur. So the cardiologist thinks he thought it was all related to the anemia, but he wasn't quite sure. And because I'm planning to return to the AT, he wanted to make sure that I didn't have any underlying conditions. So I had to have an echocardiogram this week. I'm waiting for those results. And I'm also wearing um, this, new, this heart monitor for two weeks. Uh, and then they'll let me know how that goes. But I do, again, think it's all due to anemia because I am feeling better and hopefully that's the case and there's no underlying heart issues, but I don't think there are. All that to say, a lot of my big plans, hikes and backpacking trips, kind of get toned down and we did a bunch of little stuff, but we still get out there and did some flat, shorter stuff and enjoy the fall. But we just wanted to say thanks so much for following along. Thanks for joining us. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.